Here's a question sent to me by a member of Reason Prep. This one comes from the Blue Book, page 526, test 3, section 5. So go ahead, and if you'd like, try this question before you watch the rest of the video. Directly and inversely proportional questions always give students a lot of trouble. So before we do this, let's review the concepts. Let's review what directly and inversely proportional mean. So directly proportional. You actually already know what this means. If something's directly proportional, basically it means you can set up a proportion, right? So if you had two quantities x, y, you could set up a proportion like this, right? x is to y as the second x is to the y. But the way we're going to talk about directly proportional is if you have two quantities x and y, their quotient is always equal to some constant k. So this is a constant. And if you think about it, it makes sense given what we talked about with this proportion aspect, right? So if I have an x and a y, and then I change the x and the y, they're equal to each other because, again, they're both equal to this constant k. But this is the more general way of talking about directly proportional. x to x over y is equal to some constant k. Whereas inversely proportional, it's also kind of like setting up on inverse proportional. It's also like setting up a proportion, except you're setting up a proportion with your, um, you're setting up a proportion that's a product as opposed to a quotient. So for example, if we were to go to the general definition, instead of x divided by y equaling some constant k, we would say x times y equals some constant k. So the product is a constant. For directly proportional, the quotient is a constant. For inversely proportional, the product is a constant. So you also could write it like this, x1, y1 is equal to x2, y2. But for our purposes, we're going to stick with, with these definitions down here. One note, sometimes it's you'll, you'll see the directly proportional uh, relationship written as x equals ky or typically x equal or y equals kx. And I'm going to use this form. They're interchangeable. As long as you use one of these three, it's totally fine. So let's do the question now that we have this set up. We're told x is inversely proportional to y. So we know, therefore, that xy is going to equal some constant k. Which of the following is directly proportional to 1 over x squared? So what I want to get is I need to get my equation in this form, either two quantities being dividing into one another, or into this form, where I have one variable equal to a constant times the other variable. And in this case, I want to know what's directly proportional to 1 over x squared. So I need to get an x squared in here, first step. So to do that, I'm going to square both sides. That gets me x squared y squared equals k squared. And now what I need to do is I need to get the variables here, x squared and y squared, on different sides of the equation. So I'm just going to divide both sides by x squared. And when I do that, what do I get? I get y squared equals k squared over x squared. And you could also write this as y squared equals k squared times 1 over x squared. Now if you think about it, this constant k squared is still a constant. We've just squared it. So it's a new constant. We'll just call this capital K. Just renaming it, nothing crazy. It's still a constant. So what do I have as my final setup here? I have y squared is equal to k squared, or capital K, times 1 over x squared. Notice this is the directly proportional relationship. Right? If we go back down here, directly proportional was you have a variable equaling some constant times another variable. In this case, we have a variable, y squared, equaling a constant times another variable, which is 1 over x squared, which is exactly what we wanted to get. So what is directly proportional to 1 over x squared? It's y squared. So that's why the answer to this one is choice E. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll. And you can find the link in the description below the video.